everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I want to share with you my Bible Study Fellowship experience. First, what is Bible Study Fellowship? Now, Bible Study Fellowship is a Bible study, like you can, guess you can say organization, that has Bible study classes throughout the United States and all over the when world. During Bible Study Fellowship, everyone that participates in Bible Study Fellowship are all doing the same study at the same time. So this year I started, I came in like a little over halfway through because the Bible Study Fellowship classes begin in September and they end in May. So for eight months, you are doing one Bible study. So this year when I joined, I joined this year, we did the Book of Revelation. What a blessing to study the Book of Revelation. I believe as Christian, most Christians that I know you know, if we talk about the book of Revelation, oh, I don't want to read that book. Oh, I'm scared to read that book. Um, however, or we read scriptures in the book, but not read the book all the way through. So it was such a blessing to come in on Bible Study Fellowship when they were doing the book of Revelation. I really would have loved to have been there at the very beginning. Because the book is so life-changing, so impactful. I mean, just... I cannot explain to you how life-changing reading the book of Revelation is. I'll put the link below to the Bible Study Fellowship and you can go on there and see where our classes in your area. Like in our area, they had um, morning classes for women and you're, you're, um, they have women and men. They're separate. So I went to the morning women's class. They also had evening women class and I believe all the men classes are in the evening. The way they have it set up is you okay let's just give you like the experience. So you go like your first visit you have like an orientation. You come in you have worship and pray and then you go to your class. That previous week you studied the lesson um, on your own at home and they had it set up where it's day one, day two, day three. So you don't have to do it all in one day. If you want to, you can. But you don't have to do it all in one day. And it helps break it down as you study the lesson. You do your lesson at home. And then when you come to Bible Study Fellowship, you meet with the group. They have you um, set up in groups based on your age or, you know, different criteria. So you sit, meet in a group and you t discuss the lesson that you went over. After you discuss the lesson, then you go back to the sanctuary because it's usually set up at a church. And I'm sure it's all set up at churches. I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure it's at a church. You go into the sanctuary. You do, um, you pray, you do worship, sing a hymn, um, hymnal. Um, you, then there's a lecturer that lectures on the lesson. So that's like you do your homework at home. You um, participate with your group. The lecturer does a lesson. And then when you leave... You get the, the next week's lesson that you will do at home as well as the notes from the lesson that you just finished. So four parts to the study. So it makes it so in-depth that um, it's you're, you're just um, continuously feeding on the Word of God and learning um, God, as God reveals things to you and to your life and things in your life. So it's just such a blessing and reveals Himself to you. So it's just so awesome. This was um, an awesome experience for me and I'm so excited to do the book of John. Now the book of Revelation, like I said, it was such a blessing. I mean, when you, when we get to a point where we are just feasting on the word of God, we're eating the word of God and we're taking it in and it's nourishing our soul, our body and our spirit. It's just a blessing. So the book of Revelation was just like, I, I just can't explain it. It was life-changing. It helps with the urgency of talking to those around me, family members, friends that aren't saved, that have not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. To not be afraid to share it, to know that it's urgency, because if they don't receive Him as their Savior... When they die, they don't have a chance to receive him anymore. And then, you know, after death, um, there's our souls will live forever. <clears throat> our spirits will live forever. And 
If we have not accepted Jesus Christ as our personal savior, there's only two places we can go. We can go be with God who we love and who we have accepted his son as our savior, or we will go into eternal damnation. Our souls live forever. They're not going to dissipate. They're not just going to go away. Our bodies die and deteriorate, but our spirits God created our spirits to live forever. Until Adam and Eve sinned, that's when our bodies died, but our spirits continued to live forever. So, like I said, it just gives me that urgency of how important it is to witness and just seeking God. How can I be a better witness for you? How can I be... Um, just in a better example of your love, a better example of your grace, but to speak truth. Because I believe we're in a time, we are living in a world, and I'm sure it's been like this for so long, but sometimes as you continue to grow in the Word of God, you really see how far the world is from God, how the world hates God, and how they will do everything to be contrary to the Word of God. And when you see that and you just see the pain and the torment that people are going through, they don't know they're in pain. They don't know they're in torment. When I was living in sin. I didn't know I was in pain. I didn't know I was in torment. I didn't know the things that I did, the, the lust of my flesh, the things that I did was because I was thirsty, you know. I didn't know I was thirsty for God's love. I didn't know I needed a Savior. And people don't know that, you know. So, like, the book of Revelation showed me that there is an urgency. God is loving. He gives chances. He's calling those to repent. 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 Turn from your sins. Accept my son that I gave to die for you. And if they don't, you know, if, because <clears throat> what it's saying is if, if we say that I don't need a savior, I don't need to repent for my sins, I don't need anybody to save me, then what we're saying is we could do it on our own. And if we don't receive the gift that God gave, then we were going to receive the wrath that we deserve because we, we deserve the wrath of God because we are sinners. There is nothing right we can do without the blood of Jesus. And... Until we know that, until we allow the Holy Spirit to convict us of that, then, you know, like I said, we will, those that reject, they're going to receive the wrath. The wrath that Jesus received on the cross. The wrath that Jesus received on the cross is the wrath that we deserve. So if we say, I accept that you took that wrath for me, Jesus. God, I accept that your son took that wrath for me and I receive the gift that you are giving me and I repent. I turn away from my wicked ways and I seek you and I seek to love the things you love and I seek to love you, you know. Or if we say, I don't believe that. I don't believe your son died for me. I don't believe I need a savior. Then we will receive the wrath that we deserve because we have not accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior. And that is that is what Revelation is all about. It is telling that we need to receive the Lamb of God that took away the sins of the world. That we need to receive Him as our Savior. And when we do, we may have eternal life. We will have fellowship with God. And it's just... I mean, the it's amazing, y'all. It's amazing. If you get a chance, read the book of Revelation. Um, since I did come in on the 14th chapter of Revelation, this summer I'm going to study the book of Revelation because during the summer months, there's no Bible study fellowship. And I think it's awesome because our kids are out of school. It gives you time to go on vacation and spend time with your family. So for the summer months, I will begin the book of Revelation again from chapter 1. All the way to the, you know, chapter 22. And as well as because, um, let me just share this with you because I just, like I say, I just thought this was like so profound. But like we read, a lot of people in this, I have done this too. I read a proverb a day because there are 31 proverbs. So you read a proverb a day, right? Um, 
But as I was reading this, and as we got to the end of it, in Revelation 22, 7 says, Behold, I come quickly. This is Jesus talking. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And he he keeps, you know, as he said, keep the sands of this prophecy. And keep means to cherish, to treasure, to protect. And if I read this book, the book of Revelation, and I say, oh, it was so awesome, it was great, and I go on about my business and read it maybe 10 years from now, read it five years from now, I'm not keeping the sands that are in this prophecy because I'm, I forgot about it. And I um like I described it to my husband like, you know, our children say, Mom, I want this toy. I want this toy. So you get them the toy. And that same day later, you'll see the toy on the floor. You will see the toy thrown, I mean, somewhere. And they're gone on about their business. So they didn't keep. They're not cherishing. They're not protecting that thing that you gave them. And I believe that in order for me to keep and protect these words that are in this prophecy is to read Revelation continually. So every month, like, I don't know if I'll be able to read it. Actually, yeah, looks, yeah, they're not long. So even if, if like, um, every month, every month, like the first of the month, I'll read chapter one, chapter two. So I would do it like I do Proverbs, but do it with Revelation. And I just think to, because this was so life-changing you all this was so impactful and it just really really explained the seriousness the this life is not gonna last everything in the, the anything in this life is not gonna last it's temporary it just explained the temporary how temporary this life is how futile it is how it could be gone in like everything we we see it everything we have could be gone just like that and what will last forever is God's word so that that is my goal to keep these words in this prophecy it's so life changing you guys and so that's how i plan to keep these words every month i will continue to read the book of revelation and I will read it, like like I say, chapter 1, day 1, day 2, day 3, and continue that way. Um, read it, study it, meditate on it, and pray that God gives me the courage to speak truth to those in love. Um, share his love, share his mercy, share his grace, share his truth. But I think what we all forget that God is a God of judgment. He is a God of grace, but he is also a God of judgment and a holy God, holy, holy, holy God is a God of judgment. And if we can't line up with his holiness, so that's why he sent his son to give us the opportunity um, to have fellowship with him. So... I'm excited. I hope you guys will check out Bible Study Fellowship. I will put the link down below. And um, if you get a chance to go or you start going, let me know about it. You know, let me know your experience because it has been truly a blessing to my life. And I pray that um, next year when we begin um, the book of John, that that will also be a blessing in my life. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.